Hmm, slash give. Everyone knows slash give. Who didn't? <coughs> Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I meant slash give in different way. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, in today's video, I'll be showing you oh, guys. You're too slow. What? What do you mean I'm slow? Oh, uh, yeah, you're too slow. S slow? What do you mean by slow? Oh, no, I mean your intro. Oh, it should be faster. my intro. So yeah, yeah, I should yeah. do this. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name now is Now it's so much better. I, is it better? Yeah, yeah much yeah. better. Oh, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ace Wolf, and welcome back to my brand new video on the channel. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can custom give items in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So there are a few ways to do it. The first way is by using chess and command blocks, and the second way is just by using two commands. And because I'm insane, well, not really, so I'm going to show you how to make both the chess command block one and the only two commands one. What? Well, anyway, before we start this video, guys, could you guys do me a favor by going down this video to slap like in this video and also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and i'll be out without further ado let's just jump right straight into the video let's go so for the chest command block one what you guys want to do is to place six command blocks like so then place a chest on top of the second command block. Remember, all the arrows facing the same way. Alright, so for the first command, it's test for at p bracket tag equals sword. Change the block type to repeat and all is active. And now for the second command block, what you guys want to do is to type clone tilde tilde one tilde space tilde tilde one tilde. Then change the block type to chain conditional and always active. When you have done that, what you have to do next is to stand on top of the third command block, so it is 1, 2, 3. Then find the coordinate on top of this command block, then type that coordinate into the second command block. So for the third command block, what you guys want to do is to type set block tilde tilde 1 tilde space air 0 destroy. Change the block type to chain unconditional and always active. And for the fourth command block, what you guys want to do is to type kill at e bracket type equals item, comma name equal chess, comma r equals 3, close bracket, then change the block type to chain, leave the condition as what it is, so it is unconditional and redstone always active. And now for the next one, what you guys want to type is execute at p bracket tag equals sword, 3 tildes tp at e, bracket type equals item comma and for this part it's gonna be the coordinate on top of the third command block so in my case it's x equals minus 413 comma y equals 76 comma z equals minus 287 in your case it will be different then comma r equals 2 close bracket tilde tilde 2 tilde block type chain redstone always active and now for the last one what you guys want to type is tag at p bracket tag equals sword close bracket remove sword change the block type to chain redstone always active and that's pretty much it then what you guys want to do is to place any items that you want to be given when the command is activated into the chest so it could be enchanted items or named items and also you can put as many items that you want into the chest so when you activate the command it will give you the same items as what you have put in into the chest so to activate the command you can use either command block or you can type the command in the chat box for the command what you guys want to type is tag add p or add player or add a if you want to give the items to every players in the game then add and the data name that you have put into those command blocks that you work on in the beginning in my case it is sword so if i put sword here it will activate those command blocks that I have worked on because in those command blocks I have put sword for the data name so it means that you can build the system again with different data name and you can pick which items you want to be given when you add the data name into the tag add command I don't know about that but I hope it makes sense for you guys okay anyway let's move on alright so for this one what you guys want to do is to place two command blocks like so then place a button on top of this command blocks then for the command so for this one what you guys want to type is structure save sword for the data name tilde tilde one tilde space tilde tilde one tilde true this space false then what you guys want to do is to drop the enchanted item or the named item on top of this command block hit the button then the item will be saved as the structure that named sword 
Then for the next command block, what do you guys want to type here is execute at P, 3 tildes, structure, load, sword, tilde tilde 1 and tilde. So now when you hit this button, the structure that name sword will be loaded onto the player. And if you want, you can build the same system again with different data name and different items in it. And also, if you want, you can use the chat to activate the command. As a conclusion, the first build has a good and a bad side to it since it can give items to all players in one go, but you need a lot of command blocks to make it. But for the second build, it needs only two commands, but you can not use it to give items in one go to all players. So if you want to make a custom give items, but you need to save your time, plus you don't need it to work for all players. So the second build is your choice, but if you do need it, then the first build is the choice. So yeah, that's all for today guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like in this video, and also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And also yeah, make sure to share this video, cause you know, why not. And that's all for me, peace out.